Do you have an oxygen bed available in your hospital? Hospitals are getting these kind of inquiries every day around the clock. But often the answer is no. Hospitals are unable to cater to their need because oxygen provided beds are just not available. The huge surge in COVID cases intensified this crisis, the oxygen crisis. In this video, we want to show you how hospitals are getting oxygen and how oxygen is used in hospitals. There are three major sources of oxygen and they are number one, liquid medical oxygen and number two, oxygen generators and number three, uh, cylinder-based oxygen. Liquid medical oxygen is one of the ways through which medical oxygen is supplied. Liquid medical oxygen is high purity oxygen used for medical treatment. In LMO plants, the gases from the air is separated into various components after cooling them into a liquid state and then liquid oxygen is extracted from it. The liquid oxygen is transported to hospitals where it is stored in cryogenic tanks with one or more vaporizers and a pressure control system. Medical oxygen generators produces gaseous oxygen from atmospheric air on site through PSA or VSA technology and offer a cost effective, reliable and an alternative to other oxygen supply Oxygen cylinder is another source of oxygen available. Two main types of oxygen cylinders are in use. B type cylinder which is used in OPDs, wards and ICUs. The next D type cylinders are used in manifold for supplying central oxygen lines or is used as backup. Similarly, there are three major ways oxygen is used in hospitals. Firstly, through ventilators. Secondly, through high flow oxygen nasal cannula. And thirdly, through oxygen flow meter delivered via nasal cannula or oxygen mask. So what does the ventilator consist of? The ventilator basically has a blender which produces a mixture of supplemental oxygen and air. This mixture is delivered to the patient at a specific measured percentage. The ventilator also has a special monitor which indicates the amount of oxygen that the patient receives. This ventilator is connected to the patient through a special breathing tube. One end of the breathing tube is connected to the patient's windpipe and the other end is connected to the ventilator. The high flow nasal cannula treatment. This is a non-invasive respiratory support therapy which is given to patients who can breathe spontaneously. The delivery of oxygen is through a special nasal cannula. These patients who can breathe spontaneously are given this oxygen at a flow rate which is much higher. The oxygen flow meter. The oxygen flow meter is used to provide oxygen to the patient from a terminal dispensing unit through a nasal cannula or a mask. The primary function of the oxygen flow meter is to regulate the flow rate of the oxygen as it passes through a humidifier. This can not only accurately measure the instantaneous flow of oxygen but can also enable healthcare workers to keep abreast of patient oxygen absorption status. It is very clear that the supply of oxygen is limited whereas demand is unlimited. Production and procurement of oxygen is an expensive affair. Therefore, we appeal to the concerned authorities to subsidize liquid medical oxygen and cylinder-based oxygen and make it available at an affordable cost. Secondly, we appeal for support to hospitals, especially the not-for-profit hospitals and smaller hospitals to install oxygen generation plant internally support hospitals and bring healing to the nation.